Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is Thursday. Thursday, I forget the day, I'll put it on the screen. But I am leaving to LA tomorrow for the LA Fit Expo and then I'm actually staying there for a full week um, until next Friday um, just to do a little self-development, um, some internal reflection and also I have some business meeting planned, some business meetings planned um, for Lavavi and things of that nature. So I'm really, really excited. I kind of wasn't thinking about it for a long time and I was like, oh wow, I'm leaving in two days. So today we are just prepping for tomorrow. Uh, my flight, my trip, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, a couple things. Oh, I am wearing the new tank top. I'm wearing it with jeans and some sneakers. Looks so cute. I love it so much. I do wear a size medium, and that's how it fits me. But I will do a size, a sizing video and everything when we get closer to launch. Also, uh, my getting ready will involve a couple things. Packing. I gotta wash my hair. Um, and then I saw this, and this is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> Um, it's something that I've struggled with my entire life. So like my underarms are a little bit darker than most people's and I think it's just hereditary. I'm Hispanic and some of us deal with that more than others and I've just been very self-conscious about it. And I've been thinking that for my wedding, I was like thinking about wanting to do like a procedure. I didn't know that was, if that was a thing or if it existed. So I did some searching on Google and YouTube and I found this DIY thing. So I bought all the, I bought all the ingredients for it and we're gonna try it today. I'm gonna try it with you guys, see if it works, see if it doesn't. I'm gonna put myself out there. The, thing, the one thing I hate about my body, <laughs> my armpits. Who'd have thunk, right? And um, we're gonna try that out. So right now I am starving because I was just running around. Some, I was just running some errands and um, I didn't bring any food. I am so hungry. I just stuffed my face with some cashews, but I am going to make myself some avocado toast. So I will see you in a little bit. Here it is. And I am so excited. So I am just eating gluten-free bread, toasted. Uh, gluten-free bread is not good, not toasted believe me, from experience. But when you toast it, and then you put avocado and cilantro and then a tomato on top, and then drizzle it with olive oil, and then put more sea salt on top, then it's good. I am so excited to eat this. Um, I'm gonna eat this and then kind of feel out my day, schedule it out, and then get to work. There we go, cheers. <laughs> okay, so first things first, I'm gonna do some work. Um, just trying to like get everything together so that I can have a stress-free, weekend um then i am going to shower wash my hair and i do the armpit thing i just looked up how long i have to keep it on and it said 10 minutes but it also said three days so it might not work as best as i thought mm. <laughs> oh, well we'll try it anyway um and so i'm gonna do a little bit of work then um probably do the armpit thing shower and then pack so I'm just, I'm just gonna work. Okay, bye. Hello, hello, hello. It has now been a couple hours. I got through all of my emails that I wanted to get through. You know those emails that you just like put off for a long time and you probably should have done them like two weeks ago? Well, that's what I took care of and I took care of some stuff that I didn't have to worry about when I'm in LA. So, um, oh, I'm so itchy. I don't know what's, why I'm so red. But anyway, uh, one thing I wanted to do before I left for LA is um, clean my makeup brushes right there. They're so gross. Although I was thinking I might not even take makeup brushes because I bought this new, um, it's called the Blendiful by Tati Beauty. And it comes with this little guy too. And I do my entire face with this. I do my foundation, my concealer, my contour, my blush, my highlight. I don't do my eyeshadow, of course, but um, this has been fantastic and I might not even use my brushes. So do I even wash them? I probably should anyway. Yeah, I probably should. Um, but this is a packaging. I literally just got it. Blendiful. And it was $18 for both of them. So both of them. And this little guy is to like put in your purse so you can like blot. Um, but this has been amazing. It's like a, a microfiber thing. It's so soft. It's ginormous. Obviously, you can see the difference between this and like a beauty blender. Um, it's so soft and it just it applies my makeup beautifully. So I really do like it. Um, don't judge the face right now. I got real dark under circles, but um, I'm gonna do that. Um, and then uh, jump in the shower. Oh no, my little armpit thing. Mm, do I even wanna do this right now? I kinda don't. <laughs> maybe I won't do it today. Maybe I'll do it when I get back from LA cause I gotta do, I gotta do the three days. So maybe we'll hold off on that. Let me know if I'm gonna do a video on that and I will. But okay, I'm gonna get to work. Bye.
Hello friends, so now I'm out of the shower. I did my hair and I haven't decided if I'm gonna wash my brushes yet because I did decide, I'm making a decision that all I'm gonna take is Tati's Blendiful. I mean, it worked so well. I'll probably just bring um, makeup brushes to um, supplement that. But I have been debating back and forth, like should I even post this video? I feel like it's so dumb. I'm not really saying anything of value, but you guys like these videos, so I'm gonna keep doing it and see what the response is. But I'm packing now, and as I'm packing, I realized, I'm like, who did I become? I all of a sudden have only pocket, po pocket dots, polka 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 dots, like all I have are polka dots, more polka dots. Like if it's not workout clothes, it's a skirt, that's a polka dot. So <laughs> that's where it's at. I'm literally taking just one, two, I'll just flip you around, give me a second. Hi poopers, hi baby goo. So this is the dress that I tried on from, hey, excuse me, um, excuse me. <laughs> okay, Kona, that hurt. Stop it. <laughs> this is my life, guys. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna point from far because they like to get rambunctious. Um, two skirts, one dress, two skirts there, tops, the dress, and then I have all the new Lobabi stuff, all the new tops coming out here, my bras, jeans, um, a jumpsuit, my expo um, outfit, my shoes, and then the ones that I'm taking with me, and then this Lobabi sweater, PJs, and then I wish I could take you, but I can't. Are you gonna miss me? Are you gonna take your daddy? I love you. <laughs> I love you so much. Come over here, my love. I love you. I love you. Okay, I changed my mind. I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to do my. Oh, hello, that golden light, golden light, golden hour. Um, this is my favorite time of the day, FYI, if you were wondering. But I, um, I'm gonna clean my brushes because I have to pack a suitcase instead of just a carry-on. Um, and since I'm bringing it with me anyway, I might just bring some brushes, not all of them, um, just some brushes so that I have the option to use them, you know what I mean? So I am going to use, I don't have like a makeup brush cleaner or anything, but I do follow this beauty guru on YouTube. Her name is Sazan. Sa Sazon? I don't, I don't know how to pronounce her name. Sazon, I think. S-A-Z-A-N. She's absolutely gorgeous. And um, she just uses dish soap and olive oil. So that's what I'm going to use. The olive oil is meant to help soften, soften, <laughs> soften the bristles and um, not get so hard. So I'm going to just do that. Come on. A little more. Come on, come on. There we go. That. And then we're gonna open this bad boy. Hi, poopers. I see you right there. And then just a little bit. And then she said a little bit of water. And I'm gonna just mix it up with a brush. And ta da! Okay. I'm gonna start with one I know is really dirty, so I'm gonna put you guys somewhere. So I'm gonna start with a brush I know is super dirty, which is this one, so I'm gonna show you. And I actually have this little guy, and it's from um, a FabFitFun box, sorry. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do this to it. Oh wow, I already cleaned it. Cause I'm, I'm like scrubbing it on the bottom. And then she, she used her hand, but I wanna use this. And then, wow, you can already see, yuckies! Ugh, and then just, wow, the difference already? Wild! I feel like an adult when I do these things because it's like I have my life together, you know? <laughs> it's unfortunate that it takes me to wash my brushes to feel like an adult. Look at that, crazy! All right, I'm gonna do more, give me one second. One thing I will say is that you wanna like squeeze out the excess, excess water because like I feel like a, the makeup like decides to stay in the middle. I go like this to it too, like I just go in there because sometimes that just can't reach the, the makeup that's sitting there. You see what I'm saying? Like, ugh, so gross. Just like give it a good rub and just make sure that when you rinse it, I mean, I'm sure you guys know this, when you rinse it, make sure you like push the bristles the right way because if it's like this, or this is a bad example, but if, it, if it's like that and it dries like that, it'll stay like that and it'll ruin the shape of the brush. So make sure you just put it back how it goes and then just lay it out and then you'll be Gucci. 
So I'm gonna show you another brush, but I'm gonna finish rinsing this one out and getting the soap all out. So I'll see you guys soon. Okay, so this is one of my favorite brushes to clean because it makes me feel like I actually accomplished I actually accomplished something when it's clean because you, you see how dirty that is? I'm about to blow my mind right now. Not yours because your brushes are probably clean. I'm the only gross person in this room. Yuckies. You can already, like, look at that. Yuck! Now we're just gonna take it and you can do it on your hand. But I like to do it on this thing because it just, I feel like, just cleans it better. You guys, already, this makeup cleaner is legit, man. Cause sometimes you have to just like keep scrubbing and keep scrubbing and keep scrubbing and it just doesn't work. But so, one wash, that's wild. This is what I was talking about. If your brush is like that, it's gonna dry like that. So make sure that when you're drying it, you just form it back to its original shape so it doesn't dry the way like, like that and mess up your brush. Just a little tip from a non-makeup guru. <laughs> okay, so all makeup brushes are washed and now they're excuse me i have hiccups and now they're drying and now i'm just packing up my makeup and face wash and stuff all of my skin care stuff is going to be tula just because they have the um the cute travel sizes so i do love that so much all i have to do now is finish up last couple things in terms of my wardrobe and then jewelry and then i gotta get a luggage <laughs> oh can't forget my makeup eraser this has been so amazing like look at this it's not time to wash it just yet because i use it like i'm gonna put it here i use it here and then i go all the way down turn it around and then i wash it so i should probably wash it when i get back but i've just loved it so much and that's a quick little update taz just sent me one of the first videos from our shoot this past Saturday for Lavavi, and I am so stoked for you guys to see it. I cannot wait to promo it. I'm <laughs> so excited. Uh, people have been asking me about launch date and prices, and that'll be announced very, very soon, so sit tight. Uh, remember, it's just me by myself doing everything, so, you know, it takes a little bit, but um, yes, everything will be announced so, so soon, and you'll have all the information, so stay tuned. Okay, I'll, I'll, back, I'll be back in a second. Bye! Hi, friends. So, <laughs> Poofy, it's okay. Let's go back here. Hey, come on. The yeah, there you go. Come on. There you go. Enjoy that. Um, so, I am pretty much all done. Um, I put everything in my suitcase, ready to go. I'm just waiting for Taz so we can hang out for a little bit before I'm I leave him for a whole week. But I did want to end with something that I posted on Instagram yesterday, and I haven't really stopped thinking about it. Um, so I feel like a lot of us, well, I know I think about this all the time, and I think that it's like everybody has like the guidebook to life. And it's like everyone knows what they're doing, and they know how to do it, and it comes out perfect on the first try. And they have the best house, the best car, the best job, the best insta picture the most followers whatever it is and it's like they know the secret and i don't and i'm sure you can relate but something happened yesterday that i was like lol that's not how it works um i was at my office working working i was actually on instagram playing with the new filters and um a friend of mine lexi she messages me on instagram and she's like real talk how do you balance everything and um i lol really hard because i wasn't balancing anything at that point i was literally playing and wasting my time and so i facetimed her and we, and we talked just about how you know from the outside looking in it looks like everybody else has their stuff together but when in reality we're all just swinging it we're all just doing what we can with what we have and you know so we're just in all different journeys and we're all struggling with the same thing and um I just want to encourage you today that if you feel like you're struggling, just keep going because you are going to come out on the other side. And just because you see someone that is not struggling at the moment or looks like they're not struggling, more than likely they are. And I also want to remind you that all of these accomplishments that we've done and all the success that we've had, um, it's not about us, right? We, 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 we on our own, we are nothing. We can't do anything on our own. And, um, I believe that 
that we can only do these things because of God and because of Jesus. And I mean, I know for a fact that I, <laughs> without him, I would not be where I'm at right now. Like uh, Maybe one day I'll share my testimony and everything I've been through, but it's just crazy. I, I own a, a clothing line. Like I didn't go to school for that. Like I, I have literally been winging it. And by the grace of God, I've been able to do what I've been doing. And I know that the plans he has for me are much, much greater than the plans I have for myself. And so that um, has given me a peace in less stressing about, you know, planning for the future. Don't get me wrong. I'm still planning for the future, but I'm not, um, I'm not so worried about like, am I going to make my business grow or am I growing on Instagram or how can I grow more or how can I, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, like I said, I just feel a peace now and um, I'm just going to keep focusing my eyes on him and um, trying to follow his will the best I can and um, and just see his goodness overflow. So um, I know I kind of went on a tangent there, but I just wanted to remind you and encourage you that not everything you see, um, even in person, like I'm not talking about social media because we all know social media is a highlight reel, but even in person, um, people carry themselves uh, with such grace as they should, but sometimes we fail to be transparent and really show our true colors and what we're actually going through at the moment. So um, that's it. I hope that made sense. I'm not sure if it did or not, but um, it's just been something that's been staring in my heart and I just wanted to share that with you. So um, keep your head up, um, pray, talk to God and um, and he will talk to you. So that's all I got. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in LA. Love you. Mwah.